me about Magic Theatre. What's yeah. all this about? So basically, I was doing. Uh, I finished my fourth tour um, right. last year in September and October, and we were looking for a project to do this year. And we found there was such a massive interest from the children that came to the shows to to learn magic. So right. we developed a range of magic sets, which are amazing. Oh, that's really um, good. But then we found out that they really wanted to come and learn from a person. So right. basically, we've got this Magic Theatre opening in Blue Water on the 15th of July. It's a, a magic shop that sells the sets. It's a theatre where I'll be doing shows, 250 shows in eight weeks. Can't wait. <laughs> And also a magic school where children can come and learn magic tricks. They come and they get a set, they learn the tricks there and then they Great take them idea. away and we can do it for um, children's birthday parties as well. Do you know, that's a brilliant idea and because magic has really taken off. I mean, when you did it four years ago, it was kind of unusual. We, we know each other, so it's um, yeah. Matt Sterling I know from this show, I know Ben Hart, I know Mark as well. So, yeah, watching them and seeing them, I know exactly what they're going through, so, yeah. And what I think is great is encouraging young young people, young girls and boys, yeah. to do these things. Because when I was a kid, there's a shop in Glasgow called Tam Shepherd. Yep. It's renowned. Yep. And we all used to save up our pocket money and go in there and buy things like, you know, the, the nail that went through your... It was abs pretend. Abs it, no, it, wasn't, you know, it was a real nail, obviously. Real. Right, yeah. And, you know, you undid the, the, the jar and yeah, yeah. the thing would pop, pop out, out and yeah. all of that. And we loved that. And children are so fascinated, aren't they? No, I think so. And, you know, there's a study been done recently. It was in September last year, the University of Hertfordshire, that found that learning magic can also improve children's confidence and social skills. And yeah develop self-esteem and the self-discipline required to practice and it, because it's a, a, an interactive process as well yeah. for me to perform for you I have to physically do it for you so it also gets them up and away from their iPads or their phones if they're spending a little bit too much time exactly. on it exactly and also it's fun and it interesting fun. Yeah. and the whole Britain's Got Talent thing really your career has just taken off since then you've been performing for royalty oh, for, for my Charles, sins yeah it, it took great. four years but I got the Royal Variety <laughs> I think when I did Britain's Got Talent I'd been performing professionally for 12 years um, right. and you know to win the money would have been amazing and um, but for me it was always to the Royal Variety. That's what I wanted. That's what I dreamed of. And sure. Obviously, I came second, which was amazing. Um, but later on that year, I got to headline in the West End for a show that broke the box office record. Amazing. Done four tours. And then, yeah, in December last year, I was invited to St James's Palace to do a, a house party for some bloke called Charlie. So it was, yeah, yeah it was, it was good fun. Right, yeah, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? house parties go. It was a good but isn't it really good, though, that, that the show, something like Britain's Got Talent, can encourage people and, and magicians are, are, you yeah. know, they're getting out there. We're getting more interested in this Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Because now you've got a bottle of water there. I'm guessing it's not because you're thirsty. No, it's it's not because I'm thirsty. What are you no, going to do to me? I'm well, basically, if I may, I thought as we're opening shows in a place called Blue Water, I'd do a trip with some uh, <laughs> some blue water for you. Um, do it on there, um, Ryan. Can I ask, are you right or left-handed? Right-handed. We're going to do the incredible vanishing water trick. So, if I may, right. I'm just going to ask you to hold this cup of water in your right hand above your head. Okay. I will do exactly that. above your head. I trust you. Please do. I'll do you. exactly the same. I'm going to explain how this works with your yes. left hand as well. Yes. In a moment, I'll do it first. You've got to close your eyes, say yes. the magic words, making magic three times. I'll do it first. So if you watch okay. me, making magic, making magic, making magic. That's what you have to do. So take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. Say making magic three times. Go. Making magic, making magic, making magic. Perfect. Open your eyes. We now need to remove the right hand. Right hand. Don't know my right, my left. That's that it. One. Snap your fingers twice. Well, I can't really do it. That no, that's now. perfect. And if that you look one. at me, yes. my water will have disappeared. Wow. Now, Lorraine. Yes. It's your turn. Do you believe in magic, Lorraine? Well, I do think I believe in magic, but can I say that this water thing is really quite heavy? It is, but don't you worry about that. Give me five. You have the power. Very slowly. Slowly, I want you to tip it over your own head, and I know it won't feel like it, but I promise you it will have disappeared. Slowly, slowly, slowly. But it still feels as if there's water in it, though. Trust me, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, Lorraine. How, what, <laughs> where, how, how does that happen? Magic, Lorraine. But it felt, I, I don't understand. I don't understand that that's magic. It is. That's, it? that's it. magic. And do you not find when you're doing your magic school and you're yeah. teaching you're teaching the kids and you're doing magic theatre, the wonderment. It's, it's unbelievable. The wonderment in their eyes, it's well, like, how did that happen? It work? is. And, and you know, the beautiful thing about magic is it's, it's one of the only things that is best seen live. So, for example, music. If you listen to an album, you want to go and see your favourite musician playing live because yeah. you want to be there. With magic, the issue with watching it on television is that you always think, maybe we're in on it. We, genu we haven't set that up. You're genuinely not in yeah, on it. Yeah. But some people may think that you are. So, on Britain's Got Talent, when I did the tricks with the judges, it was my way of letting people know it was fair and, and that they weren't sure, in on sure. it. Sure, sure. But having said that, people can still think that. So the only way around it is to perform live and yes. to do shows live and to teach people live. And we have um, a birthday party experience where the birthday child will come and do the show, yep. the magic school, and they come to it. And then they're the star of the show. So they'll come and they'll do a trick with me on stage as well. So it's, oh, um, it's great. you know, singing in their eyes. It's unreal. It's, it's nothing, nothing Good luck best. to you because I know how much 
effort, time, hours is spent in every single one of this magic. Yeah. Tricks, we shouldn't call them tricks, just magic. Jimmy, thank, thank you, that My was pleasure. amazing. Thank God, you so I was much. really genuinely thinking I was going to get I'm tripped. so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And Jamie's Making Magic Theatre starts from the 15th of July.